What up, y'all? Too Heady here, coming at you with a banger of a video today. Today we're talking about the time where me and this kid flipped like 2,000 vapes in a night. So, we fucking started off. We hit up my plug. I used to flip these vapes called R&Ms, and they were honestly just a one that you can the make worst. on them. The Yeah, they were the worst. The worst. Terrible fucking vape, but you can make them on this website, and he made them like <laughs> Rick and Morty and like gorillas and apes and shit. But he was selling them dirt cheap. He was just trying to get rid of the rest of uh, the stock he had. And I forget the actual price, but I remember it's like less than a dollar a piece we were getting these for. We got like fucking a thousand, two thousand of them for like 500, 600 bucks. So we end up heading down. We hit him up. We're like, yeah, we'll fucking snag the rest of these from you. He's like, oh, word. Like, meet me at the. Oh, did we met him at his crib, right? Yeah, we pulled yeah. right up to his house. I used to have to meet this kid at the YMCA, and he would pull <laughs> up on me on, like, a little scooter with, like, a little box of vapes for me. But we pulled up to this kid's house, and it was, what, two-hour drive? About. It was completely a, in a different drive. state. We drove yeah. across our whole state to get to this kid. And he just meets us outside. He's like, oh, what up? Like, y'all can come inside and grab him. So we walk <laughs> in. Dad. Yeah, we walk inside, and his dad's just like this fucking crackhead guy. He's like, oh, I see you guys are grabbing a bunch of those weights. Good for you. <laughs> and he had, like, fucking four other kids his age in there. I, I don't know what was going on there. Maybe they just had, like, a house that they were all roommates in or something. But it was oh, weird. His dad, Yeah, his dad was also there. <laughs> but... We end up going down into the basement of his room, and he just has two fucking trash bags filled with fucking vapes, bro. Single vapes, like the big, <laughs> black, bulky trash bags. Huge. And we grab him. We paid him the money. He's like, all right, guys, have a good one. We get these in my car. Yeah, were we whipping mine or your car? Mine. Were we? Okay, we were whipping this kid's Beamer. I had a GTI. Those shits were not going to fucking fit in that. Put him in the trunk of the beam. <laughs> put him in the trunk and we head over to, like, we get back to town. And we're just posting these things all over our Snapchat, anywhere. Hitting up everyone in our contacts <laughs> who needs fucking vapes or anything. And we get this one kid hit us up. And he was, like, another one of the smaller plugs around. And he's like, bro, I'll buy, like, fucking 400 of these right now. <laughs> we're both yep. just like, holy shit, fuck yeah, big flip. And I believe we both made 1500 off of him. Yeah. It was three grand total. Yeah, it was a big flip. And we go and meet this kid. So there's a wreck park next to this trailer park. <laughs> and we fucking pull into the front of the wreck park. And he just comes out of the woods from the trailer park. He's like, oh, yo, what's up, guys? Fucking hops in our car for a second. We yeah. give him, like, what would we even put him in? Just, like, a grocery bag? Yeah, just a bunch of grocery bags. <laughs> yeah, we put him in, like, two or three different grocery bags and put the other ones in the back because he wanted specific flavors of them and whatever. And we put the rest in the trunk. And kid hands us his money. He's like, dude, I appreciate you guys so much. Like, it's so hard to find good fucking vapes. And we're just like, bro, we paid, like, 50 cents for these. So... After that, we ended up splitting, like, half of them. I don't remember if we made any sales that day. I don't know, but that was that's what, what got us our crib, that money. Yeah, that's so what got us our apartment. Back. I fucking, I had just gotten a new car, and we were, it was the summer of uh, senior year, <laughs> and we decided that would be a great idea to fucking buy an apartment. And it was by the time of this and... It was like a week or two before we got in our apartment, but the week after this, we went to the party and ended up meeting that fucking Aiden kid that yep. broke into our apartment. That shit was crazy. It was crazy, but let's spark up a fucking bowl. We smoking yeah. on some of the Scrooge today still. Good times. Good times. It really was good times. <coughs> oh, I forgot to mention. <coughs> On our way to pick up these vapes, this kid wanted... My buddy was like, dude, since it's your last time, like we should just finesse him. Get all of these. And the whole time we were going down, I was just contemplating. I'm like, I don't know. That's such a good idea. He wouldn't even know. He, like, never counts the money or anything. He just trusted me at this point because I was fucking selling all of his vapes. 
It was a good plan. <laughs> it was a great plan, but we decided against it. We we decided karma would be a better decision. <laughs> karma will probably be. <laughs> Oof. But yeah, pretty much that's all that happened. I remember all the kids were ripping these vapes like for the next three or four months and they all fucking hated them and they knew exactly where they came from. <laughs> they knew we were the ones that brought them into town. They were the vapes that would like five out of ten would be bunks. Yeah, yeah. Five out of ten would be bunks or they would like if they got too hot, they would just fucking leak and spit all into your mouth. <laughs> couple explosions yo yeah one kid left one in his fucking <laughs> car and it exploded all over the interior of his fucking whip but but yeah that was pretty much the biggest flip we had i think definitely the biggest play in one day for sure